We want to find the measure of this angle x, but before we can do that, we're going to have to find a few other angles, measures. The first thing to notice is that we have two isosceles triangles, and the base angles of isosceles triangles are equal in measure. So these two angles are equal in measure, and these two angles will be equal in measure. So if I can find this angle's measure, that will tell me what x is, because these two are equal. Well, I can find this one, because it's supplementary with 124. So all I need to do is 180 oops, degrees minus 124 degrees. So that's 56 degrees. So this one's equal to 56 degrees, which means this one is as well, because they are equal in measure. Well, now I can find this one, because this angle and this angle are complementary, which is represented by this square corner here. They, they um, add up to 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 56 degrees is equal to 34 degrees. Well, we said that this angle and this angle are equal in measure because this is an isosceles triangle. If this one's equal to 34 degrees, then this one has to equal 34 degrees. So x is equal to 34 degrees. Let me write it into the graph.